Okay, so here we are all the way onto complex breakpoints. So in this video, we'll be looking at, uh, we'll basically giving you some definitions of what an ANDed breakpoint is. Basically, a pair of breakpoints address and data where each event must occur simultaneously before the program is stopped. And secondly, a sequence of breakpoints, which is a collection of breakpoints where each event must occur in a specified order before the program is stopped. So specifically for the sequence, we're going to break only an exclamation mark in the while loop as opposed to that in the init um, section as well. And as we go, because we have been using a PIC16F, will be limited in terms of what hardware features there are for debugging. So we're going to look and see where we can tell which features are supported for a given um, tool and device, and also then have a look at which features are supported in the simulator. In the process, we'll also explain what event breakpoints are as an introduction to that concept, and then we will be debugging with the simulator and using the UART I.O. window. Finally, we'll set sequence breakpoints. Let's go. So remember from the kit window, when we plugged this in, we got some output and we have the part number of the board we're using. Let's use that. Now we're going to go to the start page and learn and discover, user guides and release notes, and look for hardware tool debug features by device. This takes a little while to load. But we can see that here we can see a range of the different debug tools and the nano embedded debugger would also be part of the, that list. And we can see that there are three program breakpoints, one data breakpoint, and that data breakpoints have both read and write access. But you can see that sequences and tuples, which are the complex breakpoints, are not supported in hardware. Note also that there are a number of other options here. Sleep wake break, break on wake home sleep, break on stack over underflow, break on watchdog timeout, timeout. So these are event breakpoints and we'll consider those in the next video. But let's go back and select simulator debug features by device. And here you can see that we have support for tuples and sequence breakpoints as well as break on wake from sleep, watchdog timer, timeout. And so there is support for both complex as well as some of the event breakpoints. So let's go back to our project, open project properties, and under tool, let's select the simulator. So let's start with the sequence breakpoint, because that is actually easier, and carry on with the use case we had in the end of the last video. So we have this exclamation point here, but also here. So how do we set one breakpoint so that we hit just the specific one here. So first of all we have a line breakpoint and then secondly we are going to set a breakpoint on TX1 Reg. New data breakpoint write a specific value of 21 which was our exclamation point. Okay, so you can see we hit the printf and you can see that we break now with 21. But now let's add these to a sequence. So we can right click, complex, add to new sequence, sec1, and now we can add the data breakpoint to sec1 and you can see that the they are numbered, 0 and 1, and if we reset, you can see that we run, we break, when it's 21, we didn't break at the line, and if we go to the data visualizer now to see what was happening there, we won't see anything because, remember, we're using the simulator, so we can go into the simulator, and um, under 
you want one IO options, there's an enable you want IO, which we can check and we can output this to a window. So we can apply. And now if we start a debug session, you can see we hit again our breakpoint over there. And if we look at the output window, we should see you want one out output and we see hello world init and hello world exclamation point. So that is where we have stopped. And at breakpoints or tuples are a pair of breakpoints, a data and address, where each event must occur simultaneously before the program is stopped. Example users are to isolate a specific instance of a read or write to a register when that register may be read or written from multiple program locations. We're not going to demo this now, but in the next video we're going to go on and have a look at event breakpoints.